Okay, everybody, Thursday is my favorite day of the week. I'm back. My name is Lena, and we have these devotionals that I've written for you. Ooh, I don't have a title for today's. Um, don't go back, we'll call it. All right, so today's title is Don't Go Back, our verse is Genesis 24, 6. Oh, the verse is, see to it that you did not take my son back there. We don't want to backtrack. Okay, when God removes you from your past, don't you dare go back there. The story of Abraham teaches us a lot about God and his ways. When God called Abraham to leave his home, he was invited he was inviting him onto a new journey, a journey of faith. God warned Abraham never to go back. He was to follow the Lord forward, his eyes fixed on the promised land. Abraham understood the call of God so clearly that when his servant went back to find a wife for Abraham's son Isaac, the only thing that mattered was that Isaac would not go back to the place that God had removed Abraham from. Consider where God found you in your life. Think about the places God saved you from. The longer you walk with the Lord, the more important it is for you to refuse to go back to the places God saved you from. Are you tempted to look back and flirt with your past? Or will you continue to walk by faith, trusting God to get you to the promised land? It's a good word, man. Some of you, maybe you yearn for the past. Maybe today is a hard season and you look back and think, man, I wish I was back there. Do not look back. Remember what happened to Lot's wife. She turned into a pillar of salt and God has us fixing our eyes forward. There's a reason our eyes at the front of our head. We're not supposed to look back. Now look, sometimes you can look back in remembrance to give glory to God, but be careful when you look back and regret. There's no regret. God has you today where you are for a reason. And he's gonna use everything in your life, even the hardships, even the mistakes for his glory. Won't you trust him today? Hey, get these power minutes in writing. Subscribe at livingwithpower.org slash power minute. In the meantime, uh, join us back tomorrow Friday. We'll finish the week strong and so good to be back with you. All right.